Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning into another trending products of the month. This time we are going to show you the stuff we usually show you trending mountain bike products that people are buying and loving and enjoying and cool stuff. Right if on. you can't tell, I'm a little sick and I got uh, Jared in here uh, to right help on. me out with the video. Yeah, top products of October, right on. It's November. I thought we did it for a month prior. Not this month. What is that? Just steaming my turkey hat, getting the wrinkles out, you know? It's gonna be really nice. Cool. Before I dive into all of the top products, I did want to mention that there is just a few days left um, in the Revel Bikes Rail auction. So Rail is their 27.5 by 160 mil travel uh, enduro bike, and they've custom painted 10 of them hot pink, um, and they're raffling one off, a complete bike decked out with like all the best parts. And this is to help the Love Your Brain Foundation, which is on a mission to support people that have sustained traumatic brain injuries. So uh, link below in the video description, go check that out. You can donate $5 and get a chance to win a fully built Revel Rail in pink. And then after the thing ends around December 3rd, um, Revel is gonna be selling off uh, pink rail frames and we have one as well for sale. $200 from each frame sold is gonna be going to Love Your Brain as well. So keep an eye out for that and go check that out. Five bucks and you get a chance to win a pink bike and support Love Your Brain. So the first thing to talk about, which is surprising because most of the popular brakes that we usually talk about are SRAM and Shimano. And then it seemed like TRP was coming up and sort of making waves, at least in North America. Um, now Megura. So Megura has been around a really long time. It's a German brake company that makes phenomenal stuff. They've never really been super popular in North America. I feel like they kind of had some highs and lows over the years. Um, but they're coming back. A lot of World Cup racers, including Luke Bruni, which is a downhill world champion, has been riding these things. Um, um, and we've been selling a lot of them. Very surprising. People love them. Um, it's really cool to see different brands sort of just go, you know, high and low depending on what kind of products they have and what's cool. Um, MT7 Pros. It's a very lightweight 255 gram four piston brake. Uh, it's designed to use Magura's two millimeter thick rotors. Most brakes are using a 1.8 mil rotor. Um, we don't have an extensive test on these things yet, so I can't give you my word on them yet, but we will be doing it soon. Um, it's one of the lighter four piston brakes out there, so if you're looking for a really good power powerful four piston brake for your enduro trail or downhill bike. Definitely look into the MT7 Pros. They're 215 bucks and they might just be on sale during Black Friday, Cyber Monday at us and other places. Wow. Up next, we've got the RockShock Charger 2.1 RC2 Damper Upgrade Kit. This one in particular is for Lyric and Yari Forks 2016 and newer. This will really allow you to dial in that small bump compliance. It's got independent high speed and low speed compression adjustments. So this is a great way to upgrade your existing fork and get the kind of level of performance that you would typically get from like one of those thousand dollar forks like the Lyric and the Pike Ultimate and stuff like that. Um, aside from that, this has the complete right side internals for you to upgrade your existing fork. This combined with like a debonair air spring would really get you up to that level. It is $330 and uh, yeah, not bad considering, I mean, this is really um, a great upgrade. In case you didn't notice, we're rocking some sweet new Worldwide Cyclery t-shirts called the Afternoon Delights. Give a spin, show this cool logo. Beautiful custom artwork right here that Raymond did. You can see Raymond here. Raymond designed these babies. They look amazing. We got them on the site right now for $19.95. And they're super comfortable and you'll love them. Um, what? Next up, we have quite the insane product, the Trust Performance Shout Fork. This is a 178 mil travel linkage fork. Um, if you're not familiar with Trust Performance, you gotta check out our other video on their other shorter travel linkage fork called The Message. Uh, we made a, like, I think a 20 minute video all about that product because it's just a wild, <laughs> interesting <laughs> fork that- this thing comes in? Think this like, what? That is a pretty, that's, like, that's a pretty- I mean, a, come on. It's like, a pretty cool box, I guess. That yeah, box? that's pretty sweet. Hey, that's a box if I've ever seen one. <laughs> 
So the Shout Fork, $1,975. Um, it was recently released and a lot of people are taken to this one, more so than I think the message, just because there's a lot of longer travel riders out there that are really interested in the advantages and the wildness of what these things do. Um, again, there's a lot to these forks. Um, it's super interesting what they do. If you didn't know, Dave Weagle was an iconic suspension engineer in the mountain bike world and him and a handful of other brilliant engineers are the guys behind Trust Performance making these things. So super interesting, wild suspension fork, but something we had to talk about this month as uh, it's pretty new and definitely popular right now. Up next, we've got a Fox Float 36 NA2 volume spacer. This one in particular is 10 cc's, uh, more for like 2018, 2019 and up forks. If you have any questions on what volume spacer goes in your fork, just give us a call, shoot us an email, uh, talk to a certified bike nerd that will help you figure out what volume spacer goes in your fork. This one in particular is $5.99 with free US shipping. So something pretty cool that we do that not a lot of people do is uh, free shipping. Doesn't matter if your order is $5 or $500. We get free US shipping and uh, it's pretty sweet. Aside from that, yeah, I just totally fucking <laughs> yeah. We do not talk about general cross country bikes or hardtails all that often on this channel, but obviously a ton of people out there ride them. Um, this fork is great for those. This is a RockShox SID Select. It's a $599 fork. It's something pretty new to RockShox lineup in the SID line. Um, it's got a Charger RL damper and really is just a solid fork for $599 and something that a lot of people are loving in a 120 mil travel um, segment. Um, so yeah, something to check out if you got a hardtail or a cross country bike with 120 mil travel on the front, the SID Select. Last but not least, we have the Industry 9 Enduro S 101 wheels. Uh, we did a standalone video all about these wheels. Pretty cool new offering from Industry 9. Um, $750 wheel set, that is killer. It's got 90 points of engagement. They're light, they're nice, they're from Industry 9. Uh, one of the cool things about these that's different than the Industry 9 system wheels is they do use a traditional steel J-Bend spoke, which is available just about everywhere in the world. Um, so if you don't want a proprietary spoke on your bike like the Industry 9 system wheels, this is a great way to go for 750 bucks that has a traditional J-Bend steel spoke. Well, that concludes our top products for the month of November 2019. Let us know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Jared, which one's your favorite? I think I'm gonna have to go with the i9 wheels. Personally, yeah. huge fan of their stuff. I think this is a excellent wheel set to upgrade any bike. Um, excellent engagement, really durable, super high quality. Pretty much everything they do is, everything they do is top notch. Yeah, I'm a huge i9 fanboy, so yeah, I would say that is very true. Um, I think if I was to pick, I'd try the brakes. Not a bad call yeah, either. Yeah, I haven't ridden a different brand brake other than Shimano, SRAM, or TRP, and I don't know. Honestly, I think the last brakes I had that were Mergura was the Gustavs. It was like a four piston downhill brake with this like floating caliper that rubbed constantly and pulled sideways. Hopefully we can get a photo of them and show you right now. Uh, that was like back in early, mid 2000s. I don't, fuck, I have no idea, but I'd go with the brakes. See you guys next month. <laughs>